here we are again at the uh, Peter Butler, the Butler family, pool to pond adventure. So I'm showing you the end of the pool, the end that's good, lots of materials, and you're probably wondering why. Well, here you go, our pool is only half size now. If you remember in the last video, I showed you the collapse, me standing in it, where the whole thing, well, literally imploded. Now you can see we've had the backfill in, there's the end of the pool. That's the end of it. I've uh, had to hack it off. I'll just uh, move around. You can see the top edge of it. There you go. There's our filter box, what once was. And moving through to the rest of our beautiful pool that once was. Now, so we're going to convert this into a pond. Now, I'm just going to move around to the other side. You can see a little bit of what we're going to do here. I mean, it's been a blessing in disguise, albeit a $20,000 error for trying to clean it and fix the leak. Now it's imploded, but you can see the back of the house. So we wanted to do an extension, a house extension. We were limited in what we can do. Obviously now you can see that we can extend out to here. So that's the blessing. You've got to look at the silver lining, don't you? Now, if we go around to here, what I need to do is to create a wall. Now I've got this bracing up here, going through to this side here to basically stop the whole sides collapsing in. Now I'll get around and scan from the other angle. So what I need to do is to create a wall so that I can put a plastic liner across this sandbank. Um, but to do that I need to compact the sand for the building and the pool. So I'm going to build a, uh, a framed uh, sheeted wall and uh, then we can compact fill at the same time and that'll take care of that. So you can see if I can get back far enough whoa, um, that it's going to be still a fairly decent sized pond. Now we're actually going to grow fish in here. We're going to do aquaponics. So it's, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. There's going to be 12 to 15,000 litres of water so according to my count we should be able to grow around five six hundred fish so that's uh, rather a lot i've still got the um uh the original pump and everything attached i've got to sort the pipe work out you can see one of the uh, inlets just there now with that that means that we can quite possibly run a heating system to heat the water up which means that we can quite possibly grow barramundi all year round get to do a bit more research on that so you see the stairs there so it's going to be fantastic to be able to sit here uh, we're going to have beds going down the outside no no canoe for the pond it's not quite that big um, and beds all the way around and probably a bed right across once we've got that wall in so the next video clip you'll see will be uh, with the uh, the retainer wall in ready for the lining um, and I'll talk about that when I video that part.